Hi, brothers and sisters. How are you doing today? You are all welcome to Apostle Paul Tyro TV channel. Please, if you have not, kindly subscribe to this channel. Click the red button and also click on the notification icon so that whenever I drop a new video, you'll be able to see it and you'll be able to be blessed by the messages that I'm sending. God bless you as you do so in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This message you're about to listen to is a great message. Listen to it and I pray that God will bless you as you listen to it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Word of God Then I saw the Lord folding the scroll that he was holding and somehow converting it to a piece of bread and giving it to me. He gave it to me and instructed me to eat. When I ate it, it tasted sweet like honey. Jesus said, I have put my word in you. I am sending you to many nations. You will understand all the languages so as to speak to all the people. Whenever you do not have an interpreter, I will fill you with my spirit and you will speak in their language. Languages are mine and people are mine. Don't stop. Go to all the nations. Jesus instructed me saying, you must continue reading the printed word for the sake of the people. Dear brothers and sisters, I remember one day I was to preach in Sweden but there was no translator. Yet, Jesus caused me to preach in the Swedish language although I never spoke that language before. Visiting the garden. Frankly, I have been unable to describe in detail what I saw with the exact precision that some scenes deserve. The garden scene was one of these. I was in awe and wonder when Jesus took me there to marvel at what I believe is reverential beauty. We stood in a beautiful and lovely garden that was serene yet alive with splendorous plant life. There were graceful flowers and trees in blossoms. Some laden with attractive fruits and perfectly manicured lawn skirted the landscape. As far as the eye could possibly see, the garden seems awake, blooming with a sweet scent. The trees sway gently, most gracefully as if bowing at the entrance of the Savior. Jesus said, these different grapes will be used to make drinks. Other fruits will be used to make the fruit salad at the gathering when the saints will sit and eat with me on the table. When that time comes the saints of the world will meet in this garden. They will introduce themselves to one another. They will hug one another in eternity. The Sea of Glass On the other side of the garden, there was a sea of glass. It was beautiful beyond imagination. I was left speechless. The Lord said, over here the saints will have great joy, they will be clothed with celestial bodies. And they will speak one language despite the fact that they will come from different places of the earth. The Bible says in Revelation 15, 2 And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. 3 And they sing the song of Moses the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are your works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are your ways, you King of Saints. As we were leaving the sea of glass, Jesus pointed to me the beauty ahead. I followed the Lord to a table spot. He said, the saints will one day gather in the feast in a kingly fashion around this unending table. The meal is recorded in the book of Luke 22 2930 and I appoint to you a kingdom, as my father has appointed to me, 30 that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. The table stood elegantly neatly laid with cutlery, the chairs were extremely beautiful. I have never sat in a chair as beautiful as the one I saw in heaven. Then with one hand, I stretched out towards the dining table. And Jesus said, I have not tasted the food that is being cooked by angels for the bride. I have just checked it. I admire that angels were good. There you go to see the bride. Jesus described the manner in which the saints will sit to eat and drink with him on this table. They will forget their earthly troubles. Then I asked the Lord if he was ever aware of my trouble on earth. He said, yes, I was always aware. That's why I sent my servant with a word of encouragement. Visiting the office of the angels. I was walking with the Lord to what appeared to be an office block. Jesus said to me that this group of buildings was housing the office of the angels. When we entered the first angelic office, I saw many books. 
they were opened, and whatever is happening in the church and the lives of Christians were being written automatically without any intervention. I saw two massive books on a table, the Book of Death and the Book of Life. When a man gets saved, his name is erased from the Book of Death and is written to the Book of Life. A large volume lay on one of the tables. I was watching the book with curiosity to know its content. Jesus answered my mind. His fingers played with the pages, which I noticed had two distinct columns. On one side were listed names. And next to the name in a different column were detailed explanations of the person's actions. In short, all of our deeds good or bad are recorded in the book of life. The works recorded in this book is what the Lord will use in order to judge the world, as written in the book of Revelation 20 12 13 And I saw the dead, small, and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. 13 And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. I was amazed by the whole system. Jesus took the opportunity to elaborate on the benefit of serving God. He talked to me about Tabitha who was brought back to life thanks to her good deeds. The Storehouse of Human Body Parts The Lord led me to a magnificent storehouse in heaven. These buildings have facilities where angelic doctors were operating. It was a very special experience. I was amazed to hear that there were buildings where human body parts were stored. When we entered in this medical building, I saw a human hand and feet. I saw human blood and kidney. I saw various internal organs of the human body well kept. Jesus said to me, when a Christian claim healing on earth, the part of his body that is sick is replaced by a new one from this medical facility. This replacement and operation are done by celestial angels who are doctors and specialists of the human body. Angelic doctors perform divine surgery by replacing the bad or worn out part of the body with a brand new one from the storehouse, where body parts are stored. As a result, the person will receive healing, sometimes instant healing, but sometimes gradual healing. I was amazed to discover that the Lord had in reserve human body parts for his children. I discovered angelic doctors with medical knowledge in heaven. The Bible says in Isaiah 53 5 But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was on him, and with his stripes, we are healed. Beloved, whether you are suffering from cancer, or a heart condition, the Lord can replace your body part and organ with a brand new one. The White Stone and the New Name After visiting the medical facility, we walked to a place filled with white stones upon which were inscriptions. The Lord said, Those who receive these stones on that great day of my return will be revealed in public. Revelation 2.17 I will give to him a white stone, and on the stone a new name is written, which no one knows but he that receives it. The Lord Jesus said, the weight of each stone depends on the output and performance of the believer during their life on earth. Behold, I am coming quickly. And my reward is with me to render to every man according to what he has done, Revelation 22:12. for the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and will then repay every man according to his deeds, Matthew 16:27. dot. Jesus said to me, when you go back to earth, tell them I am coming back very soon. The Tree of Life Afterward, the Lord steered me to the direction of the Tree of Life. I observed how beautiful the trees and branches were. The Bible says in Revelation 22:14, Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they have the right to the Tree of Life, and can enter into the city through the gates. Crowns then we entered another building in heaven where the angels of the Lord were designing crowns for the believers. There were crowns for the ancient servants and those of modern days. Some crowns were small, but others were big. Some were simple, but some are extravagant. James 1:12 Blessed is the man that endures temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. 
visiting the saints in heaven. I was still thinking about the benefit of serving God as we were leaving the building housing the office of angels, and then we were heading to the place of rest, where the righteous arrive after being released from their mortal bodies. When we got to the place of the arrival of the overcomers, and their place of rest, first, I saw a big valley. And between the valley, I saw a massive, deep, and beautiful sea. The Bible says in Revelation 4 5 6 And out of the throne proceeded lightning and thunder and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. 6 And before the throne there was a sea of glass like to crystal, and in the middle of the throne, and round about the throne, were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. I saw the Lord pointing me beyond the sea of glass. He said, The redeemed live across the sea of glass, which is the river of life. I saw a great multitude that kept coming towards Jesus Christ. He was receiving the multitude of the overcomers with a warm hug. With his reassuring voice that I have come to love so much, Jesus said, The multitude you see have finished their labor and work. They are coming from different parts of the world, including the genocide of Rwanda. Some of them are also from your country. I have to lead them to their rest. Revelation 14 12 13 Here is the patience of the saints, here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. 13 And I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from now on, yes, said the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors, and their works do follow them. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one but I am able to take this multitude of these people to the home of the righteous. The home of the righteous is in actual fact, the assembly of people who died in right standing with God. Beloved, when I died, I was dressed with a glorified body. I took on a spiritual body and I realized that I was filled with revelation knowledge. I knew about things without being told about them. And thanks to the spirit of revelation, I was able to recognize the saints of the Bible in the multitude, such as the elder Enoch of ancient times, the apostle Paul, Stephen, who was stoned for the testimony of Jesus, and Mary, the mother of Christ. I saw the saints who lived on earth long before I was born. The ancient saints were joined by the multitude of new arrivals coming from different parts of the earth and gathering beyond the sea of glass. I saw members of our church who were killed in the war and genocide. I could recognize them and they recognized me. I was happy to see them and I wanted to join them. But the Lord Jesus said, once you cross the sea of glass, you will not be able to return to life. These are the saints in their place of rest. They have finished their labor. These people served me with holy hearts. They separated and detached themselves from the world. They kept themselves holy, and they kept their garments white and spotless. As I stood there, I could see people arriving in the celestial city. They were received and hugged by Jesus. These people were gathered at the pearly gates of the eternal city. The Lord said, I will return you to the earth because many still believe that death is the end. But there is a day of judgment coming. I tried to address some of the saints but my voice could not catch them on the other side of the river of life. Then the Lord gave me something similar to binoculars. Thanks to it, I was able to talk to them as if they were closer. Their joys were contagious. I wanted to join them across the river. But the Lord stopped me telling me that anyone who reached that place will not be able to return to life. When I observed far behind the multitude of saints and the homes of the saints, I saw the twenty-four elders and the four living creatures. The elders had a very glorious appearance and heavenly beauty. I could not see them clearly. But in their hand, they had things which appear like precious vials, and they were worshipping, but I could not identify the one that was worshipped. Revelation 5 8 And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps, and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. Then the Lord said, Emmanuel, I want you to go back to earth and tell the people what you have seen.